Okay guys, I'm not going to be in this video. I'm just, this is a little tips, just little things to do. I get, um, um, I get viewers who ask me, you know, just little tips about little things. So I'm just going to show you some of the things I do real quick. So anyway, okay, especially this is really good. Like if you have uh, grandkids or kids of your own, and plus it helps recycle things that you get, you know, keep so much stuff from going into the landfill. I'm going to show you like these little bottles right here. This is a little, um, I don't know, let's see, uh, the lights, there you go. You can see it's a little Cars um, bottle. It originally came with some juice, got it like at the family dollar store. And... Um, same with this one. This is the kind you know you get when you go to McDonald's and you take your kids and they get all those cute little bottles and stuff. Same with something as simple as just a plain little, um, you know, a water bottle. So what I'm going to show you is you can keep these bottles, which are so cute, like the cars, and uh, reuse them. Wait, this light is not good. Hold on a minute, guys. There we go. Okay, and you can reuse these, and I'm going to show you how to do this. You got the little, you know, the little lid on there. Let me turn this. You got the little lid on the bottle. And then you get a screwdriver like this one, okay? This is a, it's got to be wide enough so that it will punch a hole. You heat it up on your you know, on your stove or a gas stove or electric stove, whichever, you heat up the tip right here to where it's really hot, and then it'll just punch right through the top, okay? It'll go right through the top like that, you see? And then what you do is, in the case of my grandkids, you get a little straw, and you've got a little container that doesn't spill real easy, see? And you still have the cute little... Uh, design and you don't pay anything for it so that way if something happens uh, you don't feel like oh gosh I bought this cute little ball or container and they destroyed it right away same with the little McDonald's ones you just put the straw in and you've got a nice little container where it doesn't just spill if they topple it over I mean yeah a little can leak out but I'm talking about kids that are old enough to handle this like say two and up you know if they're fairly good with things this works really well and you can do the same with uh, just a little clear bottle to put their stuff in. And they, and of course, you know, kids, they like to see, um, you know, the colors and stuff of, that they drink, what have you. So there's that little idea. Then there's this one. These are the little fruit cups that you get, you know, when you buy uh, the, like the, you know, the little fruits and things, little jellos, what have you. This one was a yogurt, you know, Dora. <laughs> and they have the different designs. I keep these around for my little grandkids when they want little snacks. I just put, you know, uh, same with this one here. This one has actually a lid. I, oh, here it is. It has a little lid that you can snap to close it if you want to. But these make the cutest little containers. They're simple, they wash easy, and they, I put their little snacks, like their little goldfish, or if they're gonna have a little candy or something in there. You put it in there and they can just carry it around. They're small and they can carry it around or sit at their little table wherever they sit and watch cartoons and TV and stuff. And they're great too because you're reusing something rather than just throwing it away. And uh, like I say, if they destroy them, so what? It came, it, it's already, it's free basically. It came with something you already bought. So that works really well. I love these and the, and the kids love them. My grandkids love them. Same with this. This came, this is a little insert from the inside of a, um, uh, a salad bowl. You know, once in a while I get these salad bowls and they have these little inserts. Well, you can see, let's see if I can, yeah, there you go. You can see it. It's, um, you can put, you know, little snacks in here, a little, you know, something to, to dip it in like peanut butter or whatever. But you can reuse these little things. And the kids really like them. They, they know immediately now when they come over, they know where to ask, where to go. You know, they'll point to the cabinet. Grandma, can you get us something to drink? And they know where their little containers are. Or can you get us a snack? So that works out really well. 
And like I say, you're reusing things, not just you know throwing them out in the garbage and filling up the landfills. And the same goes for like I told you how I like to reuse candle jars. One of the uses you can use them for is these are herbs, okay? Uh, or not herbs, but I mean spices. Like this is oregano. You can fill all these little jars. And unless you're the kind to get the great big, you know, containers of like garlic or all your, uh, the big containers of the, the spices and herbs and stuff, you can keep them in here and they're airtight. These things are, you know, they're airtight. So that will make your uh, uh, spices and herbs and stuff last forever, you know, um, because it's the air that makes them get all stale and nasty. And when you have them like this, well, they last forever. I mean, spices and herbs last for a long time anyway, but this helps a lot because it keeps the air out. And again, your container is free. It's something you get after you use, um, uh, you know, your, your candles up. Hold on a minute, guys. See, like here's one that's real pretty. I like this one. It's a real pretty, this was a candle. And uh, you just fill it up with, you know, something like that in your kitchen. And especially for those herbs, these little ones I love, they're so cute. And you can have a whole bunch of them lined up and it looks really pretty with all the different herbs and colors. And it keeps them nice and fresh. And here's another little thing that kids uh, will like. You know, your little uh, honey bottles, you know, your plastic honey bottles. When you're done with them, they're cute anyway because they're bears, but they, if you have them in the tub, they can use them, you see, like little squirt, <laughs> like little squirt guns in the tub, and they're just the little bears from after the honey. So there you go, there's another use for something that doesn't go to waste, you know, the, the product doesn't, the bottle doesn't go in the garbage, and kids love them because they are a little bear. So there's another use for your for your honey bottles, and then of course you have the big ones, which of course they would love, but you see that's, it squirts out. <laughs> it's a pretty good little squirt gun. So that works out well too. So, I'm gonna show you another one here, a little tip. You know these dollar candles that you can get at the dollar store, okay? They're just a buck, they work great, they last quite a while. Well, you can also go to some place like Walmart is where I get these. These are those little candle scents cubes, okay? Like this one is soft cashmere amber. This one is vintage lace. You can see they're little um, squares. And you get these little squares. Well, I already have one out here. Let me show you. You get these little squares like this. And what I do is I, sh I shave I shave some of the um, the, the, the wax. I shave it off with a knife and then you get those shavings and after your candle has been burning for a while, like this one for instance, okay, it's been burning. Uh, once you, once it starts to melt down and up to where you say you have at least an inch of it burned, okay, you get the shavings, all right? and you drop them in the side around the flame. And what happens is these scented cubes, they're very strong. So you put it in the melted wax that's already there and it will melt into that wax. So then as you, every time you light your candle, that wax kind of melts down in there. You'll always have a scent and you can always add more if it seems like it's fading away. But what it is, is you can have a very nicely scented candle for a dollar, and these are like two dollars for these little things. They're two bucks for all these cubes, and you can get a lot of use out of them. Uh, so you can have really nice scented candles. You know how expensive those scent candles can be. You know, nicely scented candles can cost an awful lot. You can do it the cheap way and still have really nicely scented candles with just these little cubes and all you do is shave it off and put it in the, the melted candle and the melted wax and then when you relight it you've got yourself a nice scented candle. So, uh, and me, I'm a candle fanatic and I like scented candles 
but too many of them are too expensive and I, I don't like to throw the money away. I like to find, you know, good deals when it comes to that. This is a really cheap way and right now this one is burning and it's burning. I put in the vintage lace scent and it smells beautiful. So just a few little hints, uh, a few little more tips of things you can do with what you already have around the house and save money as well as keep things from going into the landfill which you know we got we got to start watching that kind of stuff you know taking care of a, a good old mother earth <laughs> um, so there you go guys just a few little tips of some things and especially if you have kids this is so great the first time I did it I remember uh, it was with a McDonald's one it was a Spongebob when they had Spongebob bottles Oh my God, they were so excited when they saw these little containers with their straw. They were just like, oh, Grandma, where did you get these? You know, they were thrilled. So you can reuse so many things, guys, and um, save money, too. And then if they're destroyed, oh, well, not a big loss. So talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.